Hey guys, video 11 for the Salvation Series, and I wanna do the second part of total depravity. And in the first part, we look at Luke chapter seven and verse 50, where the Bible read, thy faith hath saved thee. So clearly the Bible says we can have faith, but John Calvin, he states that his doctrine of total depravity says that all men, as a consequence of the fall, are born morally corrupt, enslaved to sin, at enmity with God, and unable to please him, or even of themselves, turn to Christ for salvation. Now, a lot of times they'll try to put Ephesians 2, 8, and 9 on its head, where the Bible says, for by grace are you saved through faith. And what they're saying is, well, it's not your faith, it's faith that God gives you. And they'll read this next part, and that not of yourselves, as if it's it's not even your faith. But that's just not what the Bible means. It has a colon there, and it goes on to say, it is, it is the gift of God. Then it says, not of works. So the part that is attributing that not of yourselves is the works. It's not our works that saves us. It's a gift from God, lest any man should boast. In Romans chapter 4, the Bible says, then is the reward not reckoned of grace, but of debt. Because if we were able to work for it, God would owe it to us as some sort of a debt. But the reward is reckoned of grace. It's something that's freely given of God. God gives it to us to take that by faith and just receive that gift. He made it as easy as possible on the cross, as we said in our last video. That's what Jesus Christ uses. That's what God the Father uses to draw all men unto him, is the death of Jesus Christ, the love that was demonstrated at Calvary. When we take that by faith, when we take that free gift, that is what saves us. And just kind of a final nail in the coffin to debunk total depravity is found in 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 9, where the Bible reads, The Lord is not slack concerning his, concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. So if total depravity was true, that verse would contradict because God is willing that some would perish. It is God's will that some would go to hell and some would go to heaven. But this verse says, says God's not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Means he wants everybody to be saved. Who gets saved then? The one who take him by faith. The one who, who takes that free gift. So total depravity, I'm sorry, is just not a, a scriptural doctrine. And um, it's something that John Calvin came up with because they twisted and they rested the scriptures onto their own destruction. But this verse completely debunks total depravity where it says that all should come to repentance.